The Milwaukee Brewers hosting the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Blue Jays are minus 150 on the money line. The Brewers are plus 130. The over-under is eight and a half runs. Toronto, laying a run and a half, are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. The Brewers, getting a run and a half, are minus 130, meaning if they win this game outright, you win, or if they lose by one, you win. Now, Manoa or Hauser, neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year, and the last time that these teams played was in 2017. There's a handful of those games being played today. Now, the Blue Jays are 9-4 as a team when Manoa is on the mound, and the Brewers are 5-8 as a team when Hauser is on the mound. The Blue Jays are on a one-game winning streak, and they are 18-16 and 16 on the road this year. And the Brewers are also on a one-game winning streak, and they are 17-14 and 14 at home this year. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a five-game winning streak. Toronto is on a two-game winning streak against the Brewers. Toronto is 6-4 and four against the Brewers in their last 10 meetings. The team getting or laying runs is 5-5, five and five, so they've evenly split either the underdog covering or winning or the favorite winning by two. The over-under is also at 5-5, five and five, and the over-under 8.5 is also 5-5. Five and five. So five games or nine runs or more, five games or eight runs or fewer. I'm going to go Toronto with the money line, Toronto laying the runs, and the under solely because of the pitching matchup. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. And just remember, these are my picks. If you disagree, go with your gut.